Gray Street because it came to my attention last week when we did my special way of playing Crash Into Me that there are only two songs on the Dave Matthews playlist, so here we go. But before we do, I would like to take just a moment to thank the following Zeta Reticulans. Look it up. And if you don't have to, I'm worried about you for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Tom Hooper, Terrence McCormick, Robert Lubkin, Grace Kim, and Bob. <laughs> Thank you very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link will be in the description. Take a finger, any finger, as long as it's your finger and as long as it's your middle finger, and put it on the E string 7th fret. Put your ring finger on the G string 7th fret. Now, ideally, when you strum this shape, what we want to hear is the E string, not the A string. It's being muted by the pad of my middle finger. Yes, the D string, and the G string, yes, and then B and E, no. So you can just go ahead and give the whole thing a strum, and then a boom. So, 7-7, seven, seven. then we're going to 3-3. Four, notice I've switched to pointer finger, ring finger. We'll talk about that later. Up, same strings, ringing out and not ringing out now. Up two frets to five, six, and then down to two, two. Notice I've switched back to my middle and ring fingers. So that's kind of the crux of our main thing. Seven, seven, three, four, five, six, two, two. Then you go three, four, five, six, two, two once more and one last three, four. So here we go, nice and slow. And you just repeat that. For the verse. Let's dig a little deeper into what those two note chords that we're playing are so we can stop thinking about them as strings and frets and start making sense of them as pieces of chords. Consider this. When you play B minor as your E minor shaped bar chord, 7, 9, 9, what you have on the E and the G strings is 7, 7, right? 7, 7. So this first thing is the root and the minor third, two pieces of our B minor chord. So let's think of this as B minor, so to speak. When we go to three, four, if you play your G chord as your E major shaped bar chord, you guessed it, we've got a three on the E string and a four on the G string. That's a root and a major third, two pieces from our G chord. Up two frets is of course A, same deal, and down to two, two, is your F sharp minor, just two pieces of it. So that's what's going on. B minor, G, A, F sharp minor, as we play this riff. Now a note on the fingering. Now I didn't look into this too deeply because I can't do it, but here's roughly how Dave does this kind of thing that we've been doing, right? He starts out with ring pinky, and then he goes pointer middle, ring pinky, and then pointer middle maybe up to here, back to ring pinky. And this switching between these two fingers and these two fingers is completely bananas to me. So I encourage you to try it like that if you want to, but here's the rationale behind the way I do it. If you do it with your middle ring, we've got either a minor shape or a major shape. So you can just skate along with your ring finger. And the only thing that has to change is, is it your pointer finger or your middle finger as you walk along the requisite chords. So try any combination of fingers you like. I think this is the most efficient. Good news. The rest of the song, which represents the chorus, the chorus, which represents the rest of the song is just four chords. B minor, do normal old regular B minor to A to D and G. B minor The first time only, he does B minor, A, and then interrupts back into his thing. But every other time you get to the chorus, it goes in sets of four, so you just play that chord progression however many times until Dave Matthews' band goes on to the next part, and then you know it's done. The thing I usually say, goodbye. <laughs>